Welcome to My Farnborough News. I'm James Pointing. Each week, I'll be giving a roundup of the biggest headline news in Farnborough and surrounding areas. If you want local news, interviews, features, and more, make sure you subscribe to this channel. There have been some heavy headlines this week. None more so than 500 kilograms of cocaine being found at Farnborough Airport. A private aircraft arrived from Bogota, Colombia on Monday, containing 15 suitcases packed with the Class A drug. With an estimated street value of around £50 million, it is one of the largest UK border busts. Two British, two Spanish and one Italian man were passengers on the flight. Border Force Deputy Chief Operating Officer Mike Stepney said, after meeting the flight and questioning those on board, officers became suspicious and searched the aircraft and luggage. When opened, each case was found to contain between 34 and 37 tape-wrapped packages weighing approximately one kilogram each. Five men, who have been charged with the murder of the 25-year-old Richard Hardy, made their first appearance at Winchester Crown Court on Wednesday. They remain in custody until a plea and preparation trial hearing on April the 4th. Mr Hardy was found by emergency services with serious injuries near Mayfield Road on January the 26th. He was later pronounced dead at the scene. His family said, Richard was a much-loved son and brother who will be massively missed by many. Our hearts are broken. Senior Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Nick Healan made a plea for witnesses to come forward. If you have information, you can find official contact details below in the description. Shane Stacey has been found safe and well in Yately after going missing from school on Monday. The 12-year-old boy from Farnborough had run away from Fernhill School. The story attracted a lot of support, with over 2,500 people sharing a concerned appeal from his stepmother Nikki on Facebook. Now to your local sport, an older shot are only one point behind first place Macclesfield Town in the Vanarama National League. The Shots won a thrilling encounter 3-2 away at Leighton Orient last Saturday to continue their push for promotion. Goals from Shamir Fenelon, Will Evans and Adam McDonnell helped them overcome the O's. Again, at their Ebb Stadium, Chelsea have agreed to extend their deal with Aldershot, which sees Chelsea youth play matches at the ground. Neil Baff, Chelsea's head of development, said, We are very happy to extend our relationship with Aldershot Town for another season. The facilities at the Ebb Stadium are perfect for our developing players, who benefit from playing on an excellent surface in front of proper crowds. Thank you for listening. If you have any stories or concerns you want to speak about, please get in contact with me. My details will be in the description below. For more, like and subscribe to My Farnborough News for updates each week. I hope you have a great week, and until the next episode, goodbye.